So your girl likes nice things, but your girl's on a budget. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyra and I make videos on tips, tricks, and organization for small space living. Today's video is about all the items in my apartment that I have thrifted. And get ready and hold on to your pants because there's a lot of them. I just chugged a whole lot of coffee. So a little quick disclaimer before I go into it. When I say items I've thrifted, I don't necessarily mean I've gotten them from a thrift store. A lot of my stuff I have and I absolutely love thrift stores, but I feel like the modern day thrifting is I buy a lot of my stuff from Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up, Let Go, Craigslist, even though that sometimes seems sketchy and I don't really like Craigslist. I buy my stuff used and I think that's the basis of thrifting. To me, it means getting something that someone has already loved and used and you're getting it for a cheaper price and it's more sustainable. If I'm dead set and I absolutely know I want an item, I will hunt and search to find that item used to A, not have to buy it new because it's more sustainable and B, to get a better price on it. Saves me money, saves the environment. It's a win-win. You can literally find everything online. I have so much caffeine going through me. Let's just go ahead and get started. The first item I want to talk to you about is my couch. And I get so many questions on this couch because it is so extremely convenient that it has the storage under the L part and it folds out into a full double bed. But I bought it used. I do know that this couch originally came from Costco. I think it was bought originally for about $800. And I got this couch and I paid $300 for it. This couch is the best. It's in such good condition. The couple I bought it from, they brought it brand new from Costco, but they were having a baby so they wanted to transform their guest room into a nursery so they didn't need this couch anymore. So I was able to get it for a killer deal. I know that there are a lot of couches like this on like Wayfair and Ikea has one. I do think ours is a little bit better quality than the Ikea one. And for the price, I feel like it was an absolute steal. I'm a big fan. The next item I wanna point out is this little random table. I don't know what this could possibly be used for except to go under a plant like I have it. When I first got it, I was using it to do my makeup on and I stored all of my makeup in it. And then after that, I started storing blankets in it, but Louie would just go ahead and sleep in there every single time I put blankets in there. So finally I took the blankets out and I put his dog bed in there. And that is one of his favorite spots in the house. This is a real piece of marble up here. This has been repainted, not by me, by the person who originally had it, but I got this table for $15. It is so heavy and such a sturdy piece and it really just fits the space well. I kind of want to repaint the gray part, but overall I really love this piece. Another big thing we thrifted was our two dressers and our two dressers both were used and I was very specific on I knew I wanted some sort of like mid-century modern looking dressers but I didn't know exactly what I wanted so that did give me the flexibility when I was looking on Facebook marketplace that I could pick whatever I wanted and I found this dresser for $75 used I really like the different finishes on it and it's worn in and I could probably fix it up a little bit better than it is but I don't care and I like it and this dresser was the real steal of a deal we love this dresser it's it's so cool with its different handles. We got this dresser for $100 used and one of my favorite parts about it is this part opens up and becomes like a desk table area. It has cabinets inside, so we were able to store Alex's Xbox, all of his random junk that I don't want all around. And when he sits here and plays video games on the TV, he can set his snacks on here. There is no way I could have gotten this good of a quality dresser for $100 from any store new, but getting it used was the perfect thing and we love it. In our kitchen area, we got both our stools and our countertop used. The stools, we got the set of two of them for $50. They swivel, they're very comfortable, and you can see they came from at home. They're $129 each, and we got the set of two for 50. Honestly, there are no imperfections on them. You would have no idea that I bought these used. This countertop is the best thing I own and if you've seen my videos you'll have seen it before because I talk about it all the time but we get so much storage out of it. It's on wheels so I can move it with the drawers and the paper towel rack, spice rack, dish towel rack, and the leaf so it's our table. This is a crucial piece in our apartment. I honestly do not know what I would do if I didn't have this. One of these if you bought it new costs roughly $300. You can get some that are a little bit less expensive and don't have all the bells and whistles. This exact one would be somewhere around $300. However, I got this used completely built for $100. The fact that it came built is such an extra perk because it still has all the stickers for all the pieces on here. And I'm just imagining if I had to put all of these doors and hinges and the drawers on the rollers, this would take me forever. The fact that someone built it for me is the best thing ever. And $100, this is the best piece. I love it. The last thing in our sort of living room area 
that I want to point out to you. I don't know if I can call these thrifted, but they did not come new. But it goes kind of same into the same sort of mentality of just reuse, reduce, recycle. And that is our plant pots. So a lot of our plant pots, such as this one and this one and this one, all came to us because someone was throwing them away. Those two ceramic ones were literally in the trash room of our apartment. And I took them because I love them. This purple one I got from a thrift store for $2. And I'm really happy with that. This one someone was throwing away as well, as well as that one. I feel like plant pots are something that people kind of turn over really often because they want to mix it up and they want the newer, cooler designs. But there are so many fantastic plant pots out there that you can get used. I love going to a thrift store and putting plants in really random objects that maybe weren't supposed to hold plants, but I put them in there. Kind of hard to see, but all the way up here, we have plants in these two water vases. This one came from Ikea, but this one was a water vase I found at a thrift store. I have no idea what's actually supposed to go in there, but we put some aloe in there and it loves it. It's a really cool piece that we were able to get used and didn't have to buy new. I think that vase cost me around two or three dollars to buy. Moving into the bedroom area, I know people get a little bit weirded out about thrifted items in their bedroom. And I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm not a germaphobe and that stuff really doesn't bother me. Right off the bat, let me just say it. We bought our mattress used. That's one of the things that, you know, if you're not comfortable with that, I totally get it. But hear me out. Our mattress came used from a Arizona dog rescue company. We have a tuft and needle mattress. We have the nicest one. And if we bought it new, it would have cost us $900. But tuft and needle has this really awesome return policy where if you decide you don't want their mattress anymore, they'll give you a full refund. But instead of sending them the mattress back, they ask you to donate it to one of their favorite local charities. And that charity is then given all of the supplies they need to fully clean and turn over that mattress. And then they can sell it for donation for that charity. Our mattress that was originally $900, this charity completely cleaned it, redid it, and sold it to us for $125. Such a good deal. It is the most comfortable mattress I swear I've ever slept on. I love it so much. And it was just such a steal. You can also even get like mattress covers to put on top of it, but we didn't care enough. So our actual mattress was used, but even more than that, you guys may have seen in an older video I have, I bought a pallet of used items off of Amazon. You don't know what comes in the pallet and you kind of just wing it. So basically if anything's ever returned to Amazon, they can't resell it. They just sell it as bulk items to people who then are allowed to resell if they want to. So I found somebody when I was still living in Arizona who was doing this and they got one of those pallets and on it came this bed frame. I don't know how to show a bed frame without making it look really ugly because of all my stuff underneath. But this is a Zenus bed frame. I'll put up on the screen how much it would cost new. I don't know. But this bed frame came and one of the bars on it was slightly bent, but all it took was for Alex to literally like plop it in place and like lean on it for a second and it bent back completely. The entire bed's level. It's not messed up at all because of that, but we were able to get this bed frame for $50 because of it. I really like the idea of the fact that if we hadn't bought it, this bed frame would have just gone into a landfill because someone didn't want to take the time to fix it, but instead we spent all of 30 seconds fixing it and now it's a perfectly awesome bed frame that works great for us. The next item I want to point out to you is my big school map and this is a legit like old school style map where you have to pull it down and it wheels back up. These maps are so cool and I really, really like it, but I've got to imagine they're pretty pricey. Honestly, I've never even looked it up. For the longest time, I didn't think I was going to put anything on that wall in there. But then one day I came home and I saw this in our trash room in our apartment and someone just decided they didn't want it anymore. One man's trash is another man's treasure and I love this piece. I love having it on my wall. It just brings in that like travel inspiration into our apartment. And I love that because our ceilings are so big in here, it goes all the way up. I'm all the way up. But I got this completely completely for free because someone was just throwing it away. I don't know how to show this with me being in the screen. The last item I want to talk about is this bedside table. And originally when we moved in, we didn't have a bedside table. But then once again, that beautiful trash room, someone was throwing out this piece and I really loved it. I love how thin the legs get at the bottom. I grabbed it and it didn't have any handles on the front anymore. So I bought two handles from Anthropology and screwed those on myself. But now it's just made it so that way this piece is so pretty and it's super functional for us having this as a bedside table. And I'm really, really Really happy with it. It adds extra storage, which is nice, and it gives me somewhere to put books or my phone or a glass of water next to the bed if I ever need it in the night. Also, we keep another one of Louis's dog beds underneath it in a fan that we use for white noise. It's nice to be able to have those items, but just keep them out of sight. Okay, guys, so those are all of the items that I've thrifted furniture wise that I wanted to show you today. Honestly, if I got into my clothes and stuff that I've thrifted, we would be here all freaking day. If you have questions about any of them, please comment down below. If you liked this video and liked seeing where I got a lot of my 
my stuff, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit the big red subscribe button. Also, go ahead and go and follow me over on my Instagram. I post a lot of content about small space living over there, and I would love to be able to connect with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.